Hey guys, it's Sarah. So today I have a pretty big book haul and it's an unboxing and I never do unboxings on my channel because normally I do not have the self-restraint to not open the boxes, but I have had restraint today. And so today I have a bunch of packages that I'm gonna open for you guys, as well as a bunch of other books and arcs that I have received, as well as I bring news of another haul video. In the future, uh, like right after I'm done filming this, I'm gonna be filming a Star Wars haul and it's gonna be so cool. So watch out for that. But yep, today is all about the books. Some of these packages are from Amazon and some of these packages are from Book Outlet because there was a huge Black Friday sale. I made two purchases from them. I did this order that I have here today, and then the next day I was like, oh, but I could get some Christmas presents. So I made another order and it's gonna be here in a few days, but so I, I'm just hauling this now, but there are more to come. So much excitement, so many books. I am running out of space on my shelves. Anyway, I digress. Let's get into this haul because I have some books to show. Okay, so I have a box cutter from work. Let's open some boxes. So first we have something from Amazon. So close. Oh. Yes, oh man. This is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Obviously this book is super huge right now. It is a standalone set in the Alice in Wonderland world. It's essentially a prequel story for the evil Queen of Hearts. And she starts off as a very likable, naive young girl and then the story progresses into how she becomes twisted and evil and zany. Marissa Meyer has done a villain prequel before. She did Ferris a while ago. I really liked Ferris. I'm just excited to have this because I've just heard nothing but good things and I know the hype train is real for this book right now, but I don't care. Okay, so here we have another Amazon box. I am not 100% sure what is in here, but let's find out. I'm not looking. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot. I, I bought Scarlet. For a second, I thought I bought a second copy of Heartless and I just had a little freak out there. But no, this is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer as well. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have a copy of Scarlet. For whatever reason, when I started collecting the books, I never got Scarlet. But then finally I was like, whatever, just do it. Just buy it on Amazon. So now I have it, which is awesome. And I really, really, really love this series. Scarlet is a great book. It's gonna be so good in my Marissa Meyer collection. So next up we have The One by Kira Cass. So I just got The Air and Happily Ever After off of Book Outlet in hardcover, and the rest of my books don't match. Like this series frustrates me to no end on my shelf because the first book is a UK paperback, the second book is a Canadian paperback, and the fourth and novella ones are now hardcovers, so I needed to get the one so that I could have the full series, so I was like, I'm just gonna pay the extra two dollars and get the hardcover. Now I have three books on the hardcover and two in a paperback, so... Maybe if I find them on sale, I'll like replace my original paperbacks with some hardcovers, but yeah, so I just got the one so I can binge read this series. Oh yeah, so the selection series is like the Bachelor slash Bachelorette of books. I read the first book and I really liked it, even though it's utter trash, and I'm sorry, but it's trash. It is, but it is book crack, and I really want to binge read the rest of the series, so now I have the whole series, and I am good to binge. Okay, and lastly in here, oh my god, I'm so excited. This, I've been waiting for for so long, and it's Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I am so excited for this book. First of all, let me know your thoughts on whether or not I should read the Grisha series first, or if I can get away with reading this without it, because I really want to read this, but... I don't want to ruin the experience because I haven't read the Grisha series. Please let me know because I don't know and I've heard conflicting things. I've heard some people say you gotta read it first. Some people say it's not necessary but it just like adds a little bit. You know what I mean? So tell me your thoughts in the comments below because I don't know what to do. So next we have this beautifully large box from the book outlet. Yep, you know, this is order one. Like I said, there's another one coming soon. YOLO. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this down because it's kind of heavy, and then we're gonna explore the contents. And I'm totally not gonna lie, like, 80% of the books in here have to do with Star Wars. So, you know, deal with it. <laughs> Star Wars. Absolutely everything you need to know. Ooh, you guys, it's just like pictures and fun. But yeah, so this book is just like so cool and it's just got like tons of picture references that you can look at and admire and I'm Star Wars trash, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. But yeah, so this book is just like phenomenal and hey, here's a little goofy gander, a little, little goofy gander, so cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is still in stock on the book outlet. I'm just pumped on this book so hardcore. So, following the trend, we have here Bloodline by Claudia Gray. Ha 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 Star Wars book. Essentially, this book is through Leia's perspective about six years before The Force Awakens. It is totally canon, and it's just like what's happening six years before The Force Awakens. Like, how's Leia and Han doing, and what's going on? Also, apparently in this book is when everyone finds out that Luke and Leia are Darth Vader's biological babies so it's just like a really interesting look and adds a bunch of depth to the force awakens storyline and i'm really excited to read this so yes what the hell i swear to god i did not buy this book why is it here i am so confused this is in my order and it is not on my receipt i got a free book apparently slate house by david mitchell cool it's like a halloween book i have like sort of heard of this book but I literally have no idea what it's about. I'm sorry I'm just reading it right here. Okay so apparently this story is about a house that like calls people to it and once you go in you can't leave and it goes from 1979 to 2015 and it's like a Halloween October book. So I have a feeling I am going to like this book a lot. Oh shit look at the cover. Dude. Okay, well thank you Book Outlet for messing up and accidentally sending me an extra book that I didn't pay for. Haha! -ha. Okay, lastly from Book Outlet, we have The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. But it's book two in the Wrath and the Dawn duology, and it's kind of like a retelling from 1001 Nights. Apparently in this land, there's a king that every day he takes a bride, and then by the night time, she's dead, so then he repeats the process over and over again, leaving a trail of hundreds of dead ex-wives, and so she volunteers to be the next bride so that she can kill him as a revenge against him killing her sister or her friend or something. And apparently he's fantastic, apparently it's amazing and like rich and just like draws you in really well and the writing apparently is just like so good. I saw that this was on sale really cheap so I was like how can I refuse? And yeah, so I got it and now I have both of them and I haven't read obviously either of them but now I have both so I can read them both. Hooray! Okay, next here we have something I actually don't know what it is. I think it's a wig. Oh, it totally is. So fun fact, I went to Fan Expo Vancouver in November. I bought this in uh, October on eBay for a cosplay I was supposed to do with my friend Kim. She was going to be Nurse Joy and I was going to be Officer Jenny. I literally got this today and it is December 5th today and it was supposed to come November 5th. Oh. Me your familiar face. Anyway, it looks really nice, and you know, I, it was only like $15 off of eBay. Uh, I just ruined a perfectly good wig bag. What am I doing with my life? But yeah, folks, eBay is like the place to go if you need a wig for a costume or a cosplay or a whatever. I don't know. If you guys have any other ideas what I can use this wig for, please let me know. Okay, so lastly I just have some books that I've accumulated over the past while and I forgot to haul. So here they are. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna do this really quickly though because I realize this video is probably super long, but first we have Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle because Christmas. Next year we have A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens in the Puffin Classic Edition. Why? Because Christmas. Next year I have an arc of What Light by Jay Asher. It was sent to me by Pink in Random House Canada, so thank you very much. Why did I request this book? Because Christmas. Duh. 
Next year I have a book called Etiquette, Rules and Usages of the Best Society. This book was originally published in 1886, but I just bought it purely for references for writing if I ever need to write something that's like in the 1880s, 1890s, that sort of time. I have a guidebook of etiquette. To abide by. Next year I have another arc sent to me by Penguin Random House. I'll just do the next couple. Here we have Mind Blown, Amazing Facts All About This Weird, Hilarious, Insane World by Matthew Santoro. It's just like a bunch of facts that are really cool and this arc I've uh, pretty much already read it. So it's kind of like those like toilet readers where it's just like really little blurby interesting facts and this is the arc and it's really good. Next year we have The Witches of New York by Amy McKay. Yes, it uh, came out in October 2016. I haven't hauled arcs in a really long time, so haha, <laughs> joke's on you. You're late. I don't know, it sounds really good and it's like magical and Victorian. Next here we have Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. This was actually sent to me by Rancoast Books. I'm super pumped on this book. I haven't read it yet. This book is already out. It was in a owl crate a few months ago and it's apparently like Russian folk tales and it's cool and awesome. Also sent to me by Penguin is The Dark Days Pact. This is the second book in the Dark Days Club. It's not out yet. It comes out in January. I haven't read the first book so I feel kind of bad that I have an arc of it when I haven't read the first book yet but I plan on reading it soon so I can review this for when it comes out in January because apparently it's super great and like really fun and fast paced so yeah yeah okay only a few more bear with me folks okay first here we have Angel Fall by Susan E I impulsively bought this on Black Friday when I was also buying a bunch of toiletries on Amazon because apparently that's a thing and it was really cheap so yeah. Next here we have The Back Door of Midnight by Elizabeth Chandler, which is a dark secrets novel and the cover is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. But it has great reviews and it's kind of like a thriller about psychic abilities. I don't know, it seemed good. I just bought it today from a used bookstore. Next year we have The Dead House by Dawn Kurtag. Her last name sounds Welsh. Please tell me that that was right. I haven't finished it yet, but it's kind of like a luminae where it's like transcripts and files about a murder like a mystery where a bunch of kids died in a fire. I'm only 46 pages in, but I'm really liking it so far. Next year we have Unspoken, the Lindburn Legacy Book 1 by Sarah Reese Brennan. I got this at a used bookstore um, because I heard it was really good. Some people hate it, some people love it. It's kind of like in that twilighty phase, like tweeny urban fantasy sort of thing. I thought it sounded like a really good trashy book to just like bang out on a whatever lazy day. Okay, and lastly here we have How to Be Lovely by Melissa Hellstern, and it's a book about the Audrey Hepburn way of life. Essentially, it's just like a book of pictures and little anecdotes about Audrey Hepburn and like quotes about her, stories about how she lived and stuff like that. I'm a huge Audrey Hepburn fan, so I've read this book uh, in the library before. Actually, I've taken it out of the library a couple of times, so I was like, this is actually a book I've read a couple of times, and I really like it, so I should probably buy a and so I got it on the used area of Amazon. Yeah, it's just a cute little book. But yeah, so that's my giant haul. Book outlet and Amazon and used bookstore and... Ow! The wig! Right, the wig. Why did I put that in this haul? I don't know. Anyway, please let me know in the comments below all of your thoughts about any of the books that I've gotten. Because my TBR is a little bit out of control right now. I'm having a problem on choosing what book to read next. I don't know what to read next. So, give me your thoughts on the books. Uh, of all the books I showed you today, which two or three would you recommend me reading first? Because I'm going to get to them all eventually, just some sooner than others. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. My name is Sarah, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>